Happy Tuesday. Thank you so much for tuning in to another edition of The Daily with Christine. I am Christine Faulkner, estate planning lawyer with Kava and Faulkner in Elk Grove, living trust attorney in Sacramento. And today we're talking about community property and the importance of having your correct deed uh, before you actually create your trust or even if you have a trust to make sure that the deed, um, the deeding process uh, to put that property into the trust is correct. So this video is for you if you're thinking of creating a trust and you want to get the double step up in basis and you have your property held in joint tenancy or maybe you already have a trust and you are looking at your deed and realize it wasn't put into community property before it was put into the trust. So um, let's get started. So let's start with number one. Why is it so important here in California that when you create a trust, you have the deed to your property, all of your property, whether it's your primary residence or a rental property, why it's so important that it be held in community property if you're married. So obviously this is for married people um versus being held in joint tenancy so the the trust generally say that the legal character of the, of the property remains regardless of how you change title um, to put the name of the property into the names of the trustees of the trust so whatever the character of the title title was immediately preceding going into the trust is the legal character that remains and many of the folks who come in to create a trust have title held to their real estate in joint tenancy. Because come on, let's face it, when you go in to buy a piece of real estate, you go into the title office and the title officers are not gonna give you legal advice on how you should take title. So the most obvious thing that you do that most people do is to just take title in joint tenancy because it makes sense or joint tenancy with right of survivorship. So here's why it's so important that if you're married in California and you're creating in the process of creating a trust or you already have a trust that the property that you own, the real estate that you own be titled in community before it goes into the trust because you get what's called a double step up in basis, which has to do with capital gains. And so capital gains are the, the difference in the purchase price, the tax basis, in other words, the purchase price of your real estate versus the sales price. Or the other time that this comes into play is on the date of death. So ideally, if you are a married couple, especially if you have children, more likely than not, what's going to happen is you're going to purchase property together. One of you is going to pass away first and then the other. And so if there's been appreciation at both of those time frames, right? So let's say you buy your home for $400,000. It appreciates to $800,000 by the time the first spouse dies. So that is a step up in basis from 400 to 800,000. And we want the surviving spouse to get that step up in basis. So there's no capital gains on the $400,000 difference. But then now the property appreciates to 1.2 million, another 400,000 at the time the second spouse dies. You want your children to be able to get the tax basis at 1.2 million, the current market value, so they don't have to pay capital gains tax on the gain between 800 and 1.2 million. When you hold title in joint tenancy and you don't convert that deed into community property first before you put it into the trust, you only get a single step up in basis, which is at the first death. So your kids could be looking at having to pay or your beneficiaries um, could be looking at having to pay a capital gain on that second 400,000. So when you're working with an attorney and you have property in joint tenancy, you should be listening for or talking about a two deed process, meaning you, the attorney will create your deed from joint tenancy conveying from you to in joint tenancy to the two of you in community property. 
there's the um, change from joint tenancy to community property. And then another deed from community property into the trust. So immediately proceeding going into the trust, you have property held in community property with right of survivorship. And that is the legal character that that property will maintain, which will give you that double step up in basis for your beneficiary. So it is a two deed process. Many lawyers will do it um, differently, but we feel that that is the best way to do it to make sure that you are very clearly protected and that property is held in community with right of survivorship immediately before it goes into trust. So a little bit about trust planning, a little bit about tax planning. Uh, and how there can be an intersection of the two. So thanks so much for tuning in to another edition of The Daily. Subscribe to our channel, like our videos, and let us know what you'd like to hear about. Uh, if you're ready to do some estate planning, you know you need to, and you've just been putting it off, now is a great time. Please reach out to us, we're happy to help. Um, first and foremost, we always want to educate our clients um, so that they can make informed and empowered decisions about creating the best plan for their family. Thanks again for tuning in and we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.